everybody. Welcome to another Daily Pick a Pile reading. I am That Oracle Guy, aka Patrick, that is my name. Uh, as always, special thank you to my subscribers for being here and for newcomers to my videos, welcome. I am a tarot and oracle card reader on YouTube and what that means is that I like to channel messages that uplift you, that motivate you, remind you of your limitless potential while keeping it real. That is what I do here. So if that sounds like something that you vibe with, feel free to subscribe and join the click. You're always welcome. Everybody's always welcome here. Um, what I do also like to say is that these are collective messages, so if it doesn't... Um, flow, let it go. I don't want you carrying messages that don't resonate, right? So uh, that being said, if you're ever interested in wanting to do a private reading, I offer those at thatoracleguy.com, so feel free to check it out. Um, without further ado, let's get into the pick a pile selection. Um, this is going to be a timeless message, right? Like I want it to be timeless, but there is a solar eclipse that's happening this weekend. So uh, I believe tomorrow actually. So let's keep some of that energy in mind here as well. But like, let's just have these be really beautiful guided messages from spirit, from the universe here. Um, we're gonna kick off with this uh, deck that I really like called the Shaman's Dream Oracle. They have these like really fantastic um, descriptions to them. So that's how we'll, we'll, we'll start. So for pile number one, uh, this is mindful groupthink and uh, the number 40. For pile, let me shut these down. For pile number two, let's do something here. 59, the wailing tree, reconciliations. And for pile number three, let's do Spirit of the River, Movement Toward Adventure, number 50. So what I encourage you to do now is to take at least three deep, mindful breaths, ideally eight. You're really gonna wanna connect with your intuition here, okay? Um, these messages are for you, but which ones are for you? Uh, you don't have to overthink it though. F please feel free to pause the video if you need some extra time. Um, you know, go get yourself a, a glass of water, uh, find a quiet uh, space for you to kind of receive these messages. And whenever you're ready, I've included timestamps in the video description so uh, for your convenience, so you can go ahead, click on those to get to your pile, and I will see you there. All right, pile number one, welcome to your reading. You selected card number 40, which is mindful and group think. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna read the description for you because they are descriptive. Uh, mindful stands for keeping a clear mind, hurtful thoughts, and group think. The human mind can be so many things, a prison, a latrine, a circus, a temple, a cave. It can be a place of restriction or a place of never ending expansion. Remember, uh, right now, be careful where you wander your mind. The quality of your thoughts is key as you're in a fertile time for full manifestation. You wanna ensure that the seeds you plant will sprout and flourish into the life you seek to grow. Be mindful not to scatter weeds. It's easy to be influenced by others right now too, especially in our digital age. It's hard to protect yourself from the energy and sheer amount of information bombarding you 24 seven. If you allow all the fear and uncertainty to pollute your mind and emotions, you will fill yourself up with this negativity and then see more of it in your outer world. Stay out of gossip and other forms of groupthink for when you cut another person down to their level due to their perceived mistakes or limit them by your envy, you activate lack for yourself. So fill yourself with thoughts of plenty. Imagine your universe unfettered by scarcity and alive with abundant hope and goodness. Be mindful of what your mind is full of and keep the faith. Good brings good, love more love, gratitude more things to be grateful for. Um, so yes, I mean, one of the things that really sticks out to me with that um, reading is that you're really in a very potent time right now for manifestation. Um, that's wonderful because we we attract what we are. We attract the sort of vibrations, the aura, the thoughts and energies that we're putting out there into the universe. You're a magician, right? Like you have the capacity to manifest all of these beautiful, incredible things to you. But then on the flip side, um, you know, if you're thinking really negative thoughts or you're sort of imagining the worst case scenarios, then you could be manifesting some of that into your life too, which we don't want. We forgive ourselves for, you know, being in spaces where that happens sometimes and it's totally normal and like it totally happens to all of us. Um, but what I'm hearing here also is, you know, maybe take a little bit of space for yourself, like get some good rest for yourself as well. Um, if you feel called to, uh, this is a timeless reading, but with the um, kind of solar eclipse happening this weekend, 
and just in general, maybe it's good for you to just disconnect from social media for a little bit, like walk away from your computers, spend some time outside, spend some time with loved ones, you know, um, focus on the things that you really have to be grateful for and um, watch just more abundance enter into your timeline, okay? So um, I'm gonna pull some additional cards from you from the tarot. This is the Eldritch Overload deck, which I'm just obsessed with because I feel like it's so beautiful. Uh, you got the Emperor. Let's see, you got the Four of Swords. You got the Chariot and you got the five of potions, yes. So totally, five of potions is giving some of that, like maybe something disappointed you energy, like it's kind of like crying over spilled milk energy. Um, but it's also, this is like the perfect sort of alignment for this kind of message, this groupthink message and manifestation, right? Like this person here has um, spilled a couple of, uh, a few glasses of, of <laughs> their cups over here. And what actually happens is that when you focus so much on the disappointment of something not being achieved or going the way that you wanted it to go or going the way that you expected it to go, it becomes really difficult for you to see that there's actually two other full cups right there begging for you to take it. So a good thing to kind of remind yourself of is like even in difficult scenarios, there are sort of like other opportunities for you. There's like life lessons and everything. There's a, a shift of perspective that can happen that will really open up your, your heart, that will really offer you new opportunities. So just kind of like during this weekend, and then I know this is a timeless message, but just in general, like the universe is trying to remind you like that one do when one door closes, another one opens. Absolutely. Okay. And this might be related in some sort of way, perhaps to your work or um, maybe your manager or someone that has like a sense of control or authority um, over you in a certain way. Like perhaps they're not looking at you or promoting you or giving you like a um, uh, recognition for all of your talent and for all of your skills and that can sort of lead to a little bit of a disappointment here um, but what I'm also seeing is like you're in complete control here of yourself and of all the circumstances that are around you that's that's what this mindful group think is is reminding you of okay you're in a prime space to be a leader to be um, uh, uh, setting good examples like following by example um, sort of sitting on this throne of like understanding that you are in charge of your life and uh, everything that sort of happens around it, the people that you spend time with, the thoughts that you have, you're very in control, okay? And you're leading by example as well. So um, also perhaps for some people here, there is like a little bit of caution to, to being a little bit too authoritarian. Um, so if you feel like you're you know, you, you, you're focused on your goals and you really want to get these things done and you really want to make this happen and you really want to, you know, you need to work, 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 work all the time. You're also being re uh, reminded that it's actually a very perfect and potent time for you to be resting as well, okay? Um, no matter what it is that you want to do, no matter what it is that you want to conquer, no matter what it is that you want to achieve <laughs> on planet Earth, it is going to be really difficult for you to do that if your body is exhausted, if your mind is not working at 100% because you're tired. So, so um, this is a little bit of an encouragement here, okay, to, to lean away from um, some of the things that, that have disappointed you in the past and to know that there's other opportunities that are available to you. And like, if it flows, it goes, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you don't have to work that hard at it. Like, rest is actually, uh, can be such an incredible um, potent tool for your manifestations, right? When you're kind with yourself, when you're generous with yourself, when you give yourself the space you need to rest and relax and really um, be very intentional about that. Like, I'm going to bed at this time because I want to have this amount of sleep. Like, that's important to you. Um, and so this is just a reminder too, like you don't have to overwork. You don't have to be so in charge. You don't have to be such a leader at things all the time. Like you can actually... Um, you know, you can uh, delegate responsibility onto other people. And kind of the goal here is not to work harder and harder and harder all the time, but smarter. And then just realize that abundance is your birthright and it's entering into your life from all uh, possible angles. Okay. So ease into it, pal number one, this weekend, timeless messages. This is what the universe is saying is like, 
chill like ease into it okay um because you do have the you do have this incredible drive this incredible ability to move forward to progress forward um to basically knock down every obstacle that is in your way all right so um keep keep your your thoughts uh pure keep your thoughts and intentions aligned with your values um think positively to situations know that certain little disappointments are actually there for your growth okay you will continue to progress but you're also being encouraged to kind of like relax a little bit loosen the reins a little bit take a little nap you know that's also going to be um vital for you um in these coming weeks months etc messages from the universe here for you so i'm gonna pull some additional cards for you um this is from the star seed oracle deck which i enjoy uh let's just get like uh, let's see how many want to come out maybe this one Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, the extremes of life. That's, you see, I'm getting a little bit of that that energy, right? That's kind of what I was saying before. It's like, you don't have to go so into the extreme of like wanting to rule, wanting to, you know, um, decide, wanting to control into a certain way. It's, there's, a, there's an element of you allowing yourself to surrender. You're in a peak manifestation time. So think positively, think that good things flow into your life from all directions. And it doesn't really need to be that productive is what I'm hearing for you. Like, you can surrender into knowing that, you know, even these things that can happen to you can bring good about your life. You will progress no matter what, all right? And additionally, you got big picture, big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. So what I'd like for you to do, and I think could be really beneficial is for you to just imagine a timeline since here we are manifesting right just imagine a timeline where everything works out in your favor you know um ideally like you know how how much would you want to work a day like how much money would you like to have be, be coming into your life like what what would it feel like to you to have like financial abundance to have freedom to have a good work-life balance to have passion to have joy to have life like you're being sort of um, encouraged to daydream and think about that a little bit. Hold on to that as a vision. Have that be your North Star. And if it's not in alignment with you, then you can just go ahead and let it go. Maybe it's not meant for you. <laughs> um, very potent kind of energy there. So, you know, take that. Take some of that energy. Don't listen to what other people are saying. Don't listen to some of the noise that's going on in the world, okay? You've already got it going on with yourself. You are absolutely in charge and you will progress, all right? So take a nap rest relax have a day at least a day maybe a couple of days here where you're just kind of chilling and let yourself just relax into the moment and relax into this beautiful daydreaming state i think that could be really good for you pal number one um all right thank you very much for being here i do appreciate you um if you liked the video please feel free to give the video a like that lets me know that you guys are enjoying this and you want me to continue doing it uh if the messages resonated with you please feel free to leave a comment i read and respond to all of my comments and if you're new here and you're sort of digging the vibe then feel free to subscribe and join the click everybody's always welcome all right, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're doing well. Goodbye. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. Ooh, I just kicked the table. <laughs> um, you selected the Wailing Tree, uh, which means re uh, reconciliations. It is number 59, perhaps that resonates with you. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna read the descriptions. Uh, they're kind of a little lengthy, so stay tuned. But uh, it, the Wailing Tree represents grief and mourning, a time of uh, necessary losses and reconciliation. When you encounter the Wailing Tree on your path, it is an invitation to stay a while and regroup, a place for you to rest and allows yourself to say goodbye to what no longer serves you. You may have been overdoing things, working too hard, or putting too much effort into life with little reward. If you've been, if you've been considering making a change, now is the time to do so. One important thing to consider before making any changes is that you need to allow yourself to feel your disappointment, your loss, and mourn what was and what could not be. This is a way to honor your experience, to give yourself time to reconsider all the gifts in it, to put proper closure on it, and to really know that you've learned 
to really know what you've learned as you walk away from it and into something new. Even in the perception of a failure, there is so much good to be discovered. However, skipping the stages of loss doesn't get you to reconciliation any faster. In fact, you may discover that you have come back, that you'll, <laughs> you will have to come back at some point. So do it all now, look at it all squarely and honestly, and stay with your feelings. Life is not either or, it's both and, this and that. So as you dive in and allow, dive in and process this, allow it to become a temporary travel companion on your journey. The feelings that this will bring to the surface will be cha challenging for sure. Yet like all things, they will pass soon enough and you will be more enriched by the experience. I do really like this because it kind of gives me that like three of swords feeling, um, which is that heart that has like uh, three swords that are stabbing it, right? And it is kind of the idea that like, we will experience loss, we will experience disappointments, we will experience wounds in a certain way. But those wounds, what they, what they actually do is they allow you to access sort of your like value system, like things that are important to you, your vulnerabilities and, and those wounds are what lets the light in, right? Um, so you're really being encouraged here to lean into your disappointments, lean into your mourning, lean into things that didn't go the way that they were and allow these kind of challenges to really enrich you. Um, because there is a, there is a, there is a way where if we don't sort of confront our sadness and if we don't confront our, our true feelings on a situation, it'll just enter into our subconscious and, um, start to affect things in our day-to-day -day life in a way that, um, is less percept, perceptible. Um, so yeah, you're just definitely being told and reminded that everything is going to get better, that your feelings are totally and completely valid, that you are perfect exactly as you are. You know, maybe some fabulous mantras like that, like you are beautiful as you are, you are perfect as you are, you know, like those could be positive um, things for you. This dog in, uh, in the neighborhood is 100% <clears throat> agreeing with what I'm saying. <laughs> and, um, and to, you know, walk through it. Um, there is no shame, there is no disappointment in being disappointed. Um, so feel it, feel your feelings, pile number two. That's what we're getting here for this um, eclipse season, but also just timelessly messages from the universe, right? So let's pull some additional tarot cards for you. Got the king of wands. Ooh, page of wands. I'm seeing a lot of beautiful passion happening for you in your life. Ooh, King of Swords, look at, look at this royal family that's coming together for you. And the Four of Potions, okay. Um, yes, absolutely seeing that this reconciliation is going to completely and totally rejuvenate you, okay? Not only is it going to rejuvenate you, it's going to place you firmly in this space of just like, Oh my God, passion, ideas, authority, um, enthusiasm, creativity. I mean, this is, this is you being ready to invite more passion into your life, okay? Um, once you've processed sort of these disappointments and these moments of very valid, very valid um, sadness or mourning or grieving, what's going to happen here is that you're going to be completely revitalized. You're going to, you're going to be able to lean more uh, readily into things that fill you with life, that fill you with energy, that fill you with enthusiasm. Um, perhaps there is a masculine here that wants to connect with you in some sort of way. Um, if you have a friend or a family member, or perhaps this is somebody new who is very like enthusiastic, like loves coming up with ideas, like loves to, wants to take you somewhere, wants to like go on vacation with you, like listens to you, but then is also like, oh yeah, we should absolutely do this. Like this person can be really good for you. Um, to kind of help you move past this energy once you've acknowledged it into um, something very inspirational, something very passionate. So I'm sort of seeing like if there is a hobby that you really enjoy or if there's a thing that you really wanted to do, I'm seeing you having like this fantastic energy to do that and I'm seeing that being very inspiring for you, okay? Um, know that you have like a certain authority over yourself, like an authority over your own life. And you have an ability to shift things, change things, dive deeper into things that really um, rejuvenate you, things that make you feel 
<laughs> happy, joy, excited, you know? I'm seeing that really around the corner for you as well. Perhaps this person here, this page of wands, um, they could be somebody that you, you know from your past. Um, they could be somebody that you haven't seen in a long time, maybe someone from your hometown, or maybe it's just like a, ch a close childhood friend, something like that. But there's this very new, there's this very fantastic innocent energy that's coming to you beyond the whaling tree, okay? Um, this is like the vibe of just like awesome nostalgia, like having great conversations with people that you've known for years, like friendship, innocence. Um, it's very easy. It's very warm. This dog is going crazy over your messages. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in Buenos Aires and some dogs just like to bark. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the energy of someone very familiar, very innocent, very comfortable. So I'm seeing like some, some fantastic comfort coming to you. Perhaps one of these passionate things you want to do is you want to travel back to, you know, your hometown or travel back to, um, you know, where you're from. That could be a, a fun and exciting adventure for you. But I'm seeing some, some definite ease, ease, easy, easy conversations, easy energy, you know, like, or in the very least meeting someone sort of, it could be meeting someone that just feels so familiar to you. This could also just be the energy that you're going to feel like in a much more at home place within yourself in a very at home energy um, or that people also feel very at home with you too, which is, you know, a mighty compliment. Absolutely. You also have the King of Swords here. So this, this wailing tree, these reconciliations, this grief, this process of grief that you're going to go through is actually going to bring you so much closer to your truth. It's going to bring you so much closer to your authenticity, to who you are as a person, to what you value in other people, to what you value about yourself, okay? Um, you're going to be a person that is, you're going to be able to walk away from this situation or take a move forward from this situation, I should say, with so much more clarity of thought and intention and force um, in a way that is going to make it so much easier for you in the future to be like, you know what? No, that idea doesn't align with me. I'm not into that at all. Bye, you know? Um, I'm seeing just kind of like stronger boundaries, stronger understanding of yourself, but also just a deeper joy, passion, excitement, you know? If this reconciliation has anything to do with like love, you know, maybe you were just disappointed, maybe you ended a relationship, something like that. I'm definitely seeing masculine energy, perhaps someone from your past um, that is so, like so much of an upgrade from this other person um, that that perhaps disappointed you and perhaps put you in this space. So that's, that's a reading for some people in particular. There could also just generally be a masculine person here that's going to shape and shift um, some of this timeline for you in a very daring way, but I also see um, just a, you you having just stepping onto your throne in a certain way of your own passion and of your own understanding of yourself and of the world and of your boundaries and, you know, and, and, and. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So I'm going to pull some additional cards for you, pal number two. This is from the Starseed Oracle deck. Um, let's see. Let's get you this one. Wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. Fantastic. So again, just a, you know, just a reminder here, like you, you go through your emotions. You don't have to rush towards any of this energy, but you're really being invited to like sit with yourself, spend time with yourself, be patient with yourself. Okay. Um, go through this necessary process before all of this kind of manifests as well. All right. Give yourself all the time in the world that you need and be honest about that. If it's, you know, two days, if it's two months, if it's two years, whatever it is, as long as you're working towards and being honest um, about about it, okay? Um, additionally, you have got, excuse me, the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Yeah, that's this. <clears throat> that's the uh, the fourth potions, okay? Um, so this could just very much be an um, invitation for you to connect with things that make you feel warm in your inner child you know like this is that innocence that i was saying it's this hometown vibe like maybe you're being asked to reconnect then with the joys that you experience as a child the simplicity that you experience as a child or maybe if your childhood was not that um <laughs> you know innocent feeling just that sort of enthusiasm that you had as a kid when it was just like you know you got a new toy or you got a new hobby or a new thing like connect with that sort of joy i think will be absolutely very healing for you especially as you move past this energy um authentically okay uh what else innocence and rare gifts rare gifts interesting 
Mmm. What are your rare gifts? Let's pull an extra card for you to kind of investigate that. Yeah, you're ready. I mean, the rare gift that you have is that you're ready. Uh, you, you, you have a very sharp mind. You have a very beautiful intellect. You're very witty. You're very smart, right? Um, you're very open-minded as well, too. Like, I think you can sort of see things from multiple angles, which is absolutely a rare gift to have. You can connect the dots. You can put things together. But this, what this is also saying is that you're, you're ready. There's a readiness to you, which can definitely be a rarer energy, you know? Like... You're ready to lean into these kind of changes. And even if it feels new to you, because the page is new, right? Like, he's ready to go on these adventures and he's ready to learn. Um, and it doesn't matter that he's new at it. Who cares? Everybody's going to start somewhere, you know? So maybe there's just this fearlessness that you have, um, you know, receiving these messages, hearing these messages. Like, there's a readiness that you have to step into this energy. Um, so absolutely lean into that, okay? Don't be afraid to, you know, if it feels new, don't be afraid. Just keep going. If you know it aligns with yourself, then make it happen. But at the same time, wait, you know, take, take it easy. The number one step into doing all of this is the, re the reconciliation, okay? It's the wailing tree. So make sure that you're, the, you bring this sort of enthusiasm into your own honesty of your emotions. That's step number one. And then watch everything else unfold in front of you, okay? All right, pile number two, that was your reading. Thank you very much for being here. Um, if the messages resonated with you, please feel free to leave a like. That lets me know that you are enjoying these and you want me to keep on going. As always, if you want to leave a comment, I read it and I respond to all of my comments. So by all means, let me know what you think. Um, if you're new here and, you know, this is your first video and you're digging the vibe, uh, please feel free to subscribe and join the click. You know, everybody's always welcome. Uh, thank you very much. And I will catch you at the next one of these. All right, talk to you later. Bye. And last but never least, pile number three. You selected uh, card number 50, Spirit of the River, uh, Movement Toward Adventure. I zoomed in a little bit so that you can just see how beautiful this is. Like someone dancing like at the bottom of a river. Like it's just so, you can see the wood and everything. It's very, very beautiful. So I'm going to read the description for you. Uh, Spirit of the River um, stands for Movement Towards Adventure, Addiction to Problems, and Allowing and Trusting the Current. The spirit of the river invites you to step into the flow, to stop swimming against or avoiding the current. Allow the waters to carry you downstream, away from the eddies and whirlpools. It's time to heed the call of a new adventure waiting for you. So exciting. Stop working on the problem for a while. The issue is not what it seems. It's your addiction to fixing what has gone bad that is consuming so much of your time. Work to create a greater good and the bad will resolve itself on its own. I'm gonna say that again. Work to create a greater good and the bad will resolve itself on its own. There is nothing you can accomplish with more efforting as the situations in your life right now are subject to forces beyond your control. Recognize this, step back, and trust the flow. There is no loss of face or lack of honor or integrity. It is simply the way things are at this moment. When this card appears, it is time to say yes to the next leg of your journey. Your life is like a river, inevitably and inexorably flowing towards the sea, which is your divine destination. Be fearless and release yourself to the rushing water in the middle of the stream. Whatever it is you are holding onto, the feelings, the thoughts, the beliefs about how things are, or how they should or could be, can be fixed easily with the power of the spirit of the river. Simply let go and enjoy the thrill of the ride. All will be well. Wow, I really, really, really love that card. I think it's so amazing. And it's easier heard, you know, than done in a certain way. But there is, you know, as I've just been doing like more and more tarot and like more Oracle, like there really is just this kind of incredible power behind manifesting, you know, bringing your desires into reality, but also loosening up like your control over everything and just letting the universe do its thing too. Like you don't have to micromanage the universe and like, even things that seem like they're not going your way are actually going your way, pile number three. Like, it's it's all getting you closer towards, as it said, like the sea, which is your divine destination, okay? So definitely an invitation for you here to like surrender, to release, to trust in the process, to go with the flow. Um, you know, I know we live in a very...
collective society like very like oh we need to just be like on things all the time but like you don't need to make your own spiritual journey a, a productive effort you don't need to make your own healing a productive effort like sometimes you can just release into the moment and and look at how joyful this person is i mean they're dancing going with the flow okay so that's a very powerful message for you pile number three good call picking this uh pile that was very powerful um let's get some additional messages for you to just to kind of clarify this oh yeah something definitely disappoints you definitely look at this rock bottom energy right this is where you're at boo you don't need to you don't need to fix it you don't need to fix it you can move on from it that's what you're being told. Whatever is making this your reality right now, you can move on to the next leg of your journey. King of coins, maybe uh, someone, some masculine figure here uh, is the one that disappointed you, but what else? Oh, they actually look very similar, don't they? <laughs> they do, kind of. Like they're both these sort of orcish figures. Let me pull one more for you. I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm too excited. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. This is coming together for me. Um, all right, so yeah, this is the energy of where you are right now. That's what you need to surrender. Um, you just need to know that it's, you know, you hit rock bottom with a certain situation and it's time to let go and move on to the next leg of your journey. You gotta trust in the process. You know, I, 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 acknowledge this as, as a truth for yourself, you know, and no, it's not your fault. Like there's nothing that can be done about it. You don't need to fix it. You don't need to seek justice. <laughs> you know, if somebody did this to you or whatever, like everything's happening in its own timing beyond your control at the moment, which is absolutely true. Um, and as you migrate and surrender to this energy, you're actually going to have so much more potential. Um, first off, I'm seeing definite financial abundance stepping into your life. Okay. Um, money loves to like sit in your pocket um, so you're definitely going to be attracting more money but then you're also going to be attracting sort of this is very Taurus energy so you're going to be attracting sort of luxuries sensory luxuries um, feeling very comfortable in your home like having nice things like treating yourself to what it is that you want like knowing that you're always taken care of financially creating a sense of stability within your life and your home like these are things that are coming towards you as you surrender you're going to feel much more at home and grounded in your energy okay these figures look different but look sim very similar but look at how different they are this is this is where you are you're going to sit on this throne okay um you don't need to make plans around it but you know allow yourself to be inspired by what this energy what this um this king of coins pentacles energy what that will open up for you you know when you surrender and you just allow things to unfold like allow yourself to to get dreamy about like how 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 much things can change for you for the better like how much um how much joy how much authenticity how much stability how much fantastic there's a whole world out there that's waiting for you okay so just release and allow yourself to 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 move on to that next part of your journey like you have so much at your fingertips very 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 exciting the world is in your hands okay pal number three you don't have to work towards it you just need to allow it to happen which is really fantastic and that means moving on from that energy get dreamy think about it think about all the possibilities allow that to motivate you and then just surrender uh wheel of fortune is also saying too this is very this is very much in the spirit of the river this is a reminder for you paul number three things life works in life works in ups and downs all right look at this death jackpot jackpot money all this stuff it's like a game show right life has its ups and downs and the moment that you release a sense of control around it should have been this way i could have made it this way i should have tried harder i would have you know all this kind of energy you just sort of really realize that like life happens in ups and downs and it's all for your greatest good so if you seem just if this this energy is actually as crazy as it sounds especially if you're sitting in this energy it's actually taking you to this energy because it's realigning you with your value systems what's important to you it's about letting go of things that no longer serve you you can't hold on to things forever because once you allow certain uh 
patterns to crumble, certain relationships to crumble, certain, you know, just blockages to crumble, you have so much more energy for goodness to enter into your life. And that's what the Wheel of Fortune is saying. It goes round and round and round. It's fantastic. We have these beautiful moments, these destined moments, these incredible happiness, incredible joy, and then it goes back down and we're just learning and learning and learning all the time. As long as you just go with the flow and you're honest about it, you know, not resisting this change. So yeah, these are some really good messages for you. This energy is, is actually so beneficial for you. It's going to take you places, all right? So never forget that. Never forget that, all right? I'm gonna pull some additional messages from you from the Starseed Oracle. Um, let's see what we got here for you, pile number three. You got Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, and Trust. I'm seeing, hmm, I'm seeing some sort of ancestor energy here too. You might have some guardians, you might have some spirit guides, you might have some ancestors here that are wanting to come through and communicate to you that you are protected, that you are safe to trust in the process, to trust in the flow, okay? Um, yeah, you definitely have people looking out for you on the other side, which is really beautiful and I love to hear that and see that from you. They're reminding you all the time that they're here with you and they can offer you guidance, they can visit you in your dreams, you know, look up at the stars, maybe you'll you'll find them like um there's a connection here that i'm hearing from from people that care very much about you in the spirit world so um there's also a couple of like uh, falcons it looks like here so maybe keep a little bit of an eye out on on falcons and when you see them just know that those are your spirit guides your ancestors you know the universe uh, your guardian angels like whatever it is you want to call that energy um that's them letting you know that you're doing good you're you're they're there for you all right um, oh, I love that message for you. And additionally, you got We the ha Hathers, Deep Love, Mother's mer Milk, uh, Birth as a Portal. Yeah, so I'm seeing like, I'm seeing this surrender really leading, this gateway that you're walking through really leading you to um, a sort of newness. It's, it's about having, feeling so protected by the universe, feeling so comforted by the universe, seeing the universe as just kind of like this restorative in alignment with your highest good um, force, right? That, that really protects you and wants what's best for you. Um, sometimes when doors close like this and we are in this completely defeated down and out energy, it's because you don't know what that future could have been like. You don't know what it would have been like and you're being protected, right? Like things have to come to a close sometimes. Um, so I'm absolutely seeing that the universe is very mothering towards you, is very gentle with you, is very protective of you. You have, um, especially these ancestors or spirit guides, who are very protective of you. So um, just know that as you're kind of going through the motions of um, of this new leg of your journey, of this new adventure, of all these possibilities, um, that you are very, very taken care of. And I love to hear that message for you, uh, pile number three. So uh, thank you very much for being here. I do appreciate you. Um, if these messages resonated with you, if you liked the video, please feel free to leave me a like. That lets me know that you guys are digging it, you want me to continue. Um, feel free to leave a comment as well. I read and respond to all my comments. And if you're new here and you're digging the vibes and you'd like to join the click, by all means, everyone is always welcome. Um, thank you so much. And I will catch you at the next one of these. All right. Talk to you later. Goodbye.